as many of you have noticed that I've started writing a wiki engine. I don't know how you couldn't notice because there's at least five or six videos out there. But we haven't gotten to the crux of the situation yet, so you might be wondering, what are my ideas for a wiki engine? Why am I writing one from scratch? There's so many wiki engines out there. Well, first of all, yes, I do have some interesting ideas that I want to implement. I've kind of had them for some time, considering my biggest reading source is Wikipedia. So, in my many years of reading Wikipedia, there's been a lot of things that I kind of felt that I could do better. Um, but the biggest impetus is that I want a wiki that runs on ASP.NET Core, which is a cross-platform framework for web development. And that would allow me to run it on all my servers, whether they be Windows, Linux, uh, whatever. It allows me to write it using C Sharp, which I am extremely proficient at. And the biggest thing is that I've used other wiki engines in the past. I've used virtually every wiki that is based on ASP.NET. I've also used MediaWiki, which is what Wikipedia is based on. Um, and frankly, I can never find one that I don't have to modify the fuck out of anyway just to get what I want. I mean, like, MediaWiki... Let's just start with MediaWiki, because it's the most popular one. You know, it's, it's written in PHP, which is fine. You know, I don't have an issue throwing PHP on a server and, and running that. But if you want a wiki that doesn't look exactly like Wikipedia, um, or behave exactly like Wikipedia, you know, it's, it's, it's a bitch to edit. I mean, there are themes, there are ways that you can style it, but like... There's a lot of things in the MediaWiki world that I just don't think need to really be presented to, to people. I've got a bunch of people that I want to be able to create content for my wikis without them having to learn wiki markup languages, understand how categories and, and all kinds of other wiki-specific contexts work. I mean, okay, if you're writing a very simple page that just has like a couple headings and some text and some hyperlinks, then that's fine. MediaWiki is great for you. But like, if you ever go to Wikipedia and you look like on the right, there's like what's called an info box. Like, just look up anything. Like, look up any TV show, airline, anything. Like, look anything up that's like a common topic. And if you look to the right, you'll see like this this info box. You know, sometimes it's got a thumbnail. Usually has some facts. Like when the, you know, like for a TV show, it'd be like when it was created, when it was on the air, who it was produced by. Like, try looking at the source code for that info box. It's gonna link, it's gonna reference to a template, and that template's gonna reference to other templates, and there's gonna be like all kinds of nonsense in there, and none of it is WYSIWYG, none of it at all is WYSIWYG. There's all kinds of complexity that just frankly is like ridiculous. Like, you don't need that. Like, I should just be able to draw a fucking box with my mouse and type into it. So I'm gonna go over some of the ideas that I have for my wiki engine so that you can kind of understand what I'm trying to achieve. Come on, bitch. All right. So the first improvement I want to make is that everything is WYSIWYG. When I say everything is WYSIWYG, I don't mean that you enter your text into a WYSIWYG box like CK Editor, FCK Editor, where you have like the bold and the italic, whatever. I mean that like you go to any wiki page, like imagine you're on Wikipedia and you see something you want to edit. You just double click and then suddenly the text in place becomes editable. And then you just make your edit, either double click or maybe control S and it's done. It's that simple. You go on with your life. You don't have to know any kind of anything. And, you know, if there's specific guidelines or rules to editing that particular page or section of the wiki, they can just pop up in a little floating window. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you even have to check off that you've followed them all before you can submit your changes. The other improvement I want to make is, if you've ever read Wikipedia, sometimes you read a paragraph or an article, and it starts out sounding, I don't want to say bias because they're not supposed to be biased, but they, they, they start out with one direction and then you get to a sentence that sounds completely different from the direction of the, the rest of the paragraph or the article and you're like, well, clearly someone else wrote this section of the, of the page. So today you'd have to go into the history and you'd have to page through all of the changes until you find out who specifically added that text to that section. 
it would be really nice if you could have a heat map mode where every author was depicted in a different text color so that way when you get to text that's authored by a different person you can, you can see that transition you don't have to just guess and you know yeah in a perfect wiki this shouldn't matter because everyone should be following the same guidelines and same style but everyone writes different i mean that's the beauty of the english language there's a million ways to represent the same thing so when you go from like a clearly articulated sentence to one that's just like has no thought put into it you can see why that's the case it's you, you can derive that there's no specific intent from those usage of words it was just authored by a different person i mean for god's sake people rip the bible apart trying to figure out the intent behind things do based on who might have written that section of it i mean i think it'd be nice for a wiki to be able to just tell you at a glance you know who the contributors are and which parts they contributed to the other thing is that in most wikis, the network of pages that comprise the wiki is typically underutilized. Yeah, there are ways that you can factor out common components into things like templates, but every page stands alone. If you want to rename or move an article, you got to change, or a bot has to change, like in the case of MediaWiki, all the references to that. It would be really nice if I could just move or rename an article anytime I want and everything in the wiki just updates and it would be really nice to have like a graphical map like a map screen like an overworld map of the entire wiki so I can kind of see how much of the you know websites used to have these they were called site maps but more and more often they're no longer actual maps they're just lists of fucking pages that you might want to go to it'd be really nice to have a real map dynamically generated of every page in the wiki so that you can get some idea as to what pages you might not have seen yet, how much of the wiki you have seen, how much of the wiki you've contributed to, and additionally, you know, are there orphan pages? Are there pages that aren't linked anywhere? Are there pages that are lightly linked? What are the most important pages? You can make a lot of improvements to the interconnected nature of a wiki if you could visually see how things are linked and what things are and are not linked to anything. Many wikis have like a feature that'll show you pages that aren't referenced from anywhere or orphan pages or whatever, but I mean maybe they are referenced from one place, they're just not referenced from a place that every other page of that class really should be referenced from. I would also like to see procedurally generated components of a wiki. So like those info boxes I mentioned earlier where for like a television show it might have, you know, what dates it ran from, what network it was on, who created it, who produced it, who it was starring. Um, yeah, so there's a template for that, but you gotta, someone has to manually enter all of that metadata into the, you know, into that template in the format that they ultimately want it appearing in. I want to be able to decouple the styling of the wiki from the actual data, or maybe not even have the data in the wiki, maybe be able to just like pull from a data source live. So like if you have an episode list of episodes in a TV series, or levels in a game, or I mean any, any tabular data, you should be able to just point at a data source and then be able to put logic in there, like if statements or for loops or whatever. So that instead of having to write the same shit over and over again for things that are common to multiple pages you can procedurally generate that content you're not writing the article you're writing how you would write the article given the data for that particular object and that takes us to the next thing the concepts of classes and metadata wouldn't it be nice if you went on Wikipedia and you tried to make a page for a notable actor or actress and the system itself stopped you because you didn't have requisite information like their birth date or what they're notable for or like information like that wouldn't it be nice if the wiki could know what's required for any given specific type of article and then enforce that and then tied with the procedurally generated components it means that in order for someone to add something they just have to know some base information you know let's create an actor here's their name here's their birth date here's where they were born here's what we know about them whether you know fields that are either mandatory or optional kind of like imdb and then the page just fucking writes itself that would be nice i mean you could still add 
you know, content to the page that's specific to that person. But if you aren't a wiki author and you just have information because you're a specialist or an expert or you just happen to notice that something's missing, you don't have to be a fucking expert in editing that particular type of wiki or even writing English. You can just go in there and, and change the metadata or add metadata. And the overall intention of the wiki administrators, the requirements, the style guidelines, all of that is just through their components and their criteria and their requirements. Another thing is that it's really nice that in a wiki information can be updated as it changes. It's so like when you have a current event, like the, the page just, you know, like grows as information gets appended. But there's not a lot of easy intuitive ways for people that already read the page to be notified when the page is updated. So like I'm sure that there's probably some type of watch list functionality in existing wikis where I can subscribe to modifications to a page, especially if I created the page. But there's not like any like central reading list. Like when I go to the homepage of Wikipedia, it, it's not like, oh hey Neil, here's uh, 20 things that were updated since you last read them. Just information you might care about since you cared enough to read the article in the first place. So maybe, you know, have like a follow button where I can follow pages or just, you know, set it up so that if I'm reading a page for more than five minutes, then I should probably get notified when uh, any substantial content is added to that page. Or maybe as a content contributor, um, something was wrong. Maybe something was completely factually incorrect and I want to update every person that read that, that wiki page and send them a notification letting them know that, hey, we made a retraction, we made a correction. You know, that college essay you might be writing, you might be wrong because uh, we just found out that this info right here is, is bullshit. So that would be really nice. Once you read a wiki page, that shouldn't be the end of your relationship with the subject matter. And finally, some level of interactivity might be helpful, like maybe not an encyclopedia like Wikipedia or Wiktionary, but like if we're talking about like a fan wiki for something, it might be really nice to be able to like thumbs up individual sentences or paragraphs or like add emoji, like add a, what are they called in Facebook? Um, you know, where you can heart something, or you can like put like a happy emoji or a puking emoji or whatever. Like, it'd be really nice to find out what other people reading the page think about something, you know, especially if it's like a subjective opinion. You know, if it's objective facts, like a fucking, you know, like Wikipedia, then maybe that's completely inappropriate. But it should be up to me as the content author to say, hey, I want feedback from people about what it is that I'm writing here. That would be really nice. I'm sorry the sun is in the way. I'm sorry my hair is fucked up. That takes us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more about building the wiki, like, comment, subscribe. Consider supporting me on Patreon. It is what it is. But it shouldn't have to be what it is because we can write a better wiki engine. I promise you. And until next time, stay safe.